So I came in here with the intent of not really throwing that many pieces today, but uh, I wanted to make some stuff anyhow. So I did make some new pieces. One of them did fail as you saw in the video, which I'm pretty sad about, but, but I'm gonna show you the big boy big baby I made because I am super excited and proud of myself for making something so large. And yeah, let's see. Um, we'll see how it turns out when it's actually done, but I'm gonna show you. So you can see these are the pieces I made and this is my usual size. And then I made that big, big one back there. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I think I pulled the bottom bit a little bit too far. So I'm not really sure how steady the foot's going to be. So. If I find that the foot is not going to be very good, I might just actually just round out the bottom and then just give it some feet and make it into some fun little friend uh, with feet. <laughs> As you can see though, here are two other ones that I made and I'm actually really enjoying making this kind of um, shape where there's kind of like a body. And so I'm gonna try to practice that more. So you can see like three of them have that. This one I ended up making a little bit too short. So I didn't have really enough clay to make the body of it. Uh, otherwise I'd have like a really, really short face. But overall, really good throwing night. The bottom of that really, really big one is actually so, so heavy. Um, I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of trimming for it. Hopefully it's, hopefully it'll be okay. I'm hoping that the top of it will be able to hold the weight. I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, I'm trying to try not to be too upset about it because that's just what happens when you're learning something. And yeah. Um, oh, and I did put the other pieces out to be put into the kiln. Um, and I can show you right now real quick. Um, I've had some people ask like, oh, do you need an oven to do the ceramics? And yes, you need to have a kiln to fire it at a very, very high temperature so that it actually fires properly. Um, and I believe the ceramics here get fired around uh, 1200 degrees Celsius. So I can show you here. This is our giant kiln that we share in our shared studio space and you can see a little baby one right next to it. So I have my pieces lined up here to get fired. So basically anything that looks like a character or like an animal or something with a face is mine. So I just looked at the firing schedule. It looks like they'll go into the kiln tomorrow. Yeah, so I should probably come back on the weekend so that they can get fired for the glaze. Uh, so I'll probably book some time or book, book my own time to come back on Saturday. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna clean up. It is late and I'm gonna try not to be here too late because yeah, otherwise I get too tired. Anyway, I will see you later. Goodbye. Wow, look at how sunny it is today. So nice, isn't it? Oh, you know what? The camera is still a little bit dirty. I'm gonna just clean it off. This camera is still so dirty from the ceramic studio. I hope it's not too bad or leaving any smudges or I don't know. But we're gonna work with it. So today is Saturday and spring is finally here. Oh my gosh, it's like actually sunny outside. We're in the double digits in Celsius. It just feels so, so nice. Ah, I'm just gonna sit here in the sun for a little bit. So I think the plan today is get some of my designs done and ready and actually sent off to be made because I've been putting that off for a while now. And I don't wanna go to the ceramic studio quite yet just because I think it's gonna be quite busy during the day and I do, want to go there when there are fewer people there. So I'll probably will wait till tonight to actually go there and check on my stuff to see if uh, see if everyone, first of all, survived the first firing. Because um, sometimes things like cracks happen. But hopefully, hopefully everybody will be fine. And if everyone's fine, we're gonna be doing lots of painting and glazing tonight, which will be super nice. You're asking for so much attention today. Shrimp has been extra, extra cute today, rolling around in the sun and also very happy that uh, it's warm but I think I need to stop procrastinating. I should prep some designs, perp, prep? I should prep some designs now, um, cause I need to do that and I've just been putting it off. So let's do that so that when I go to the startup studio there tonight, I can do like a really long session and not feel guilty about being there for a long time.
like tonight was a much slower night. I only threw a few pots and I only got these three little friends done. But I am really happy with how they turned out and I'm gonna show you right now. So this is probably my favorite one of the night. It was a suggestion from my Instagram to make an axolotl from a couple people. And I think it just turned out so funny and cute. I think it's gonna be really, really nice when it's done. And then this one is a little chicken. And I think it turned out pretty cute. And this one, <laughs> this one is my uh, kookaburra. I'm a little bit sad because when I trimmed it, uh, I trimmed the foot very poorly and then I just ended up taking it off because it looked really bad. So it doesn't have a foot like the other one. So again, the foot is that little, little bit where it's kind of sticking up. I'm actually thinking maybe I will add a foot anyway, just like manually, because uh, I think it, it adds a lot. So I won't dry this one out completely yet, but I will leave these two out to dry and paint. Oh, and I added little drainage holes to these ones. So I had a few people ask if they had drainage holes and the previous ones I made did not, but I think that I will start doing it a little bit more frequently so that if you want to put a plant in it, you can put it directly in. But it is very late again and it is time to clean up and go home. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, back in the studio again for a new day. Gonna check on the clay that I had put out yesterday for, you know, recycling and stuff like that. It's looking, okay, it's looking relatively good. I'm gonna show you right now. So you can see here, this is the recycled clay from yesterday. I did check it and it is coming off here a little bit, so it's good. I still think it needs a few more hours um, before I can actually maybe flip it over. Oh yeah, and then I also bought like some storage and uh, buckets for my things because I got like a shelf to put stuff on but I didn't have any storage from so I'm actually gonna have a proper thing to hold all of my extra clan. So you can see some of the ideas I've doodled here. So these are for new pots, I guess. So kind of, I don't know, a bunch of random things. Basically variations of a dragon because I kind of want to do like a whole little dragon series, but they make them all a little bit different. So I think that's what I'm going to do with these ones. And this is an idea for something else in the future. You figure out what that is. So these will be the pots that I'll be sculpting today and Actually, oh, this one's like really wet now. Um, <laughs> I was gonna show you because I've already sculpted this one. Uh, but I've been trying to keep them wet all week so I can continue working on them. The ones without any you know, special things on them will be what we're working with today. Okay, I've been here for like six hours or something now, and I'm super tired. Um, but I have finished sculpting pretty much 
all the little points I said I was gonna sculpt. So I'm gonna show you them and then I'm gonna clean up and go home because I am super tired and I'm really, really hungry. The little pots I'm gonna show you are based off of the designs I showed you earlier, which are from this little book. And they're all little dragons and I tried to make them all slightly different and unique. So I have five little pots and one big pot here. So I'm gonna show you them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the big baby. <laughs> this one is a little dragon cow, I think. I don't know, I'm really excited for this one. I'm gonna just paint like black spots all around him. So it looks like a, a milk cow or I don't know, black cow. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm realizing if it's a cow, it should probably have udders, but I don't want to sculpt udders. <laughs> so I really wanted these dragons to all be dragons, um, but all different as well. So they're all different variations. <laughs> so this is one of the first ones and it's like a little nature themed dragon so it has like little leaves for ears and then I think I'm gonna paint these like butterfly wings. And then this one, I'm not really sure what this is based off of. I think it's like a ram, <laughs> but it's kind of simple. I'm realizing now there's like some areas I still need to smooth out so it might take some time to smooth those out after. Uh, okay, finish. I'm gonna finish showing you first though. And then this one is like a cloud dragon. This one's very much inspired by one of the first ones I made, but I added some scales for the first time because I want to try something a little different and add a little bit of texture. And I'm realizing I need to smooth out some of the areas around the, the back. Overall, I am really happy with this one. I think it's very cute. And then this is the last one. And I, I also did the uh, scales on this, and I actually think the scales add a lot. I think it's really, really cool, so I think I might start doing this more. So that's all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up, clean up, go home. So the next step then is to paint them and then put them into the kiln for firing. So I'm gonna put them away and then clean up here and go home, get some dinner, because I'm hungry. I'll see you later. <laughs>